Hello, Gateway Community College. It's Wednesday at 2, and it's time for the chat with Dean Elise. Um, so I hope that a lot of you will be joining us today. Today marks Denim Day, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Denim Day first while you're all jumping on. Um, so we all wear denim today because this day represents a ruling by the Italian Supreme Court where a rape vic conviction was overturned because the justices felt that since the victim was wearing tight jeans, she must have helped her rapist um, and must have. Um, so we wear our jeans and symbol to protest this. Hi, Sana. So we we wear our jeans to protest um, this ruling by the Supreme Court in Italy. Um, so if you're wearing your jeans like I am, um, you know, make sure you wear your jeans proud. OK, so some different activities this week. Um, the Counseling and Wellness Office is are offering three different group sessions offered on Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, the different times are from 10 to 11 and 2 to 3. On Tuesdays, it's keeping up with self-care and coping skills during COVID-19. So really utilizing your coping skills um, and, and staying, staying well with yourself. On Wednesday, hi, Rhonda, nice to see you. On Wednesday, we're having deep breathing and meditation rocks. Um, Thursdays, check your to-do list, time management and discussions. So check it out. Um, if you're interested, go to gwwellness at gatewayct.edu to sign up. Again, those are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Lots of ways to get involved and, and definitely um, stay in touch. Jackie, hi. Hello, hope all is well. Any updates on diplomas? Yes. So Jackie, we have made decisions on diplomas. Your diplomas will be mailed home. OK, um, so you won't have to come to the school to pick up diplomas. We're working to get those so they're mailed home to you in a care package. OK, so more to come with that, Jackie. We're so excited to see you uh, graduate. Zareen. Hi, Zareen. Um, this week for student activities, TED Talk, uh, TED Talk and Tea is going to be um, the secret to student success and our jo our hosts are Sandy Master Petrie and Christina Kosnoff from Student Success. Hey, Brooklyn, how are you? Um, so yeah, so this TED Talk is tomorrow, April 30th at three o'clock. So you watch the TED Talk and then you grab your favorite tea or hot cocoa, et cetera, and join in the discussion, okay? So you have to watch the TED Talk first though. They ask questions about the TED Talk. It's a lot of fun. Sana, you're applying for nursing next fall. Can I use the pass fail option for anatomy and physiology one? No, no, Sana. So any of our selective programs, and I'm actually going to go over pass fail in a few minutes, so stick with us. But any of our selective programs, you will not be able to use the pass fail option. So very good question. There's a student government meeting next Tuesday, May 5th at one o'clock. All students are invited to attend. Also, all faculty and staff are invited to attend. So we'd love for you to learn more about what's going on in student government and all our favorite clubs and organizations. Um, let's see, important announcements from our registrar. You saw her on here last week. Um, so deadlines to withdraw from a class is May 1st. And to apply for spring graduation is also May 1st. So make sure um, that if you are eligible to graduate in May, that you are applying for graduation. That link is direct on our website. So make sure you're clicking that link to get to the graduation application. Let's see. Serene, I need to talk about my major to an advisor, please. Sure. So you're just going to go to GW Student Success, Serene, at gatewayct.edu and um, send them an email and uh, they'll set you up with an appointment to talk to your talk to an advisor okay um diana is there any way to see my current degree audit to see how far i am to graduating yeah reach out to our registrar's office diana um you could get a hold of them actually they have a facebook page it's on uh, gcc registrar office if you go, if you put that in the Facebook search, you'll be able to see them and you could live chat with them at any time and they'll let you know how far you are. You also could do that on your own by going on to DegreeWorks. Um, so if you put in your program, you're able to see how far to completion you are. Um, but if you wanna have a sure thing, make sure you contact the registrar after you've looked at your DegreeWorks, okay? 
Huh, okay, summer graduation application will be available May 4th. So that's for anyone who's planning on graduating in the summer. Again, just a reminder, our summer classes are going to be all online, okay? So online, um, and so definitely um, if you're applying for summer and you wanna do um, summer classes, they will be online. You're welcome, Diana. Um, graduation update. So we are planning a virtual graduation. Unfortunately, it does not look like we will be able to hold a mass graduation in the year 2020. Um, and that is just with all that we're seeing here. Um, if for some reason that changes, we will re-look at that and reevaluate that because we absolutely would like that. Um, but um, we would, you know, we are really uh, moving to a virtual graduation and stay tuned for dates on that and information for our graduates on how to get involved in the virtual graduation. Linda, how will we get books for summer classes? We're going to have something come out on that. Um, we're going to definitely have something that that's going to come out on uh, the summer classes um, and how to get your books. So most likely it'll be a mail system to get your books. Um, so stay tuned for that, Linda. We'll get back to you on that. Uh, let's see. Serene, why don't you send me an email um, if you weren't able to find, let me see, you weren't able to find out about an advisor. Um, so why don't you send me an email, GWD to students, okay? And uh, I'll get you hooked up with an advisor, okay? Hello, Mohammed. <laughs> Good to see you. Glad to see you're doing well. Um, okay. So that's our update on virtual graduation. So we are gonna make a date for that um, in order to make sure that the graduation is what we want it to be. It'll, it'll definitely be delayed. It's not going to be May 21st. Um, so, cause we're gonna need to collect some things from the graduates um, and put the video together. Um, Mohammed, are you talking about the summer classes online? Yeah, the summer classes are gonna be online. As for the anatomy and physiology labs in the summer, I, I'm going to have to reach out because some of those were allowed to have labs um, at the end of July. I'm not sure how that's moving ahead. I don't know if Professor Tremblay is on the Facebook Live with me or if anybody knows that who's on. Um, but I think you probably should reach out to your instructor, Brooklyn. I think that's the best thing to do and just say, are they going to be online? Are they not going to be online? Okay. Um, Let's see. Okay, David, you have submitted an online graduation application and was told to receive an email on the status. You haven't received one yet. We're receiving a lot of them right now. Um, so um, just, uh, just stay tuned. You will um, receive. I know some of my registrars are actually on the Facebook Live with me. So David Munez is looking for um, where he is in the process with his online graduation application. So if somebody wants to look into that. Um, Runda, okay, so for right now for fall, we have not made decisions. Um, we are hoping, and I think most of you, we are hoping to have in-person classes. Um, we know that it will be a different environment, um, and we'll be having to do social distancing, et cetera. Um, but stay tuned for that, Runda. I'm hoping to have an update on that really soon. Mohammed, yes, summer classes are all online, okay? Um, Haley, I just said, I'm not sure about fall classes. I mean, clearly we're going to have a different normal back at the college, but um, we are definitely trying, trying to uh, have some um, glasses, classes on ground. Um, let's see. Any update on the CARE Act? Yeah, I actually do have an update on the CARE Act. So the CARE Act um, many of you received an email today. So what happened was in the legislation for the CARE Act, there are grants available to students, okay? When they first sent these grants out, when they first sent the information out to students, and this is what your email said today, okay? When they first sent the information out to students, they said that the colleges could determine how to put the information out. And we really, really, re, um, we understand that a lot of you are going through fiscal issues because of um, obviously COVID-19, loss of jobs, the moving of classes online, homeschooling your children all the, um, all the time. So um, we understand all of you are going through that. So we, we were trying to disperse the money to all the students. The federal government then changed 
the um, regulation to say that it's only students that have applied for a FAFSA that would be eligible. So whether you received a Pell or didn't receive a Pell, if you applied for a FAFSA, you would be eligible. Um, president Ojeki and the president of our system has sent an email to Secretary uh, uh, DeVos asking for a change in this language um, and, and really stating how impactful this has been on every student, not just a student that would apply for a, uh, for a FAFSA. Um, so with that, we are looking for you all to get signed up for, um, for direct deposit. So we, if you did, if you did apply for a FAFSA, we can get that grant directly to you. And then if we receive additional notification saying that people that didn't apply, um, are eligible as well, then we can do the same to you. Okay. So that's the information on the CARE Act. Um, Wendy, let's see, only if we applied for financial aid 219, 220. Um, nope, it's 2019-2020 FAFSA app. Thank you for that question, Wendy. I mean, you don't need to do anything, okay? You're just going to receive a re, uh, the monies through your um, bank account if you're signed up for direct deposit. Um, so you don't have to, if you don't want direct deposit, yes, it's just going to take a lot longer, okay, Wendy? So there will be a delay. Um, Zareen, it's uh, gwdinastudents at gatewayct.edu. Um, Nazaya, um, can you do something to help? Okay, so you, if you still need a laptop, Nazaya, if you could go ahead and email me. Again, my email is gwdinastudents at gatewayct.edu. Um, and let me see what I can do for you, okay? Uh, Diego, if I if classes do go online and students drop classes because it wasn't in their plans to take online courses, will classes be canceled for low enrollment? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't I don't foresee that. Um, right now, we're seeing a slight uptick in enrollment. Diego, um, it's a case by case basis um, as far as classes and if they um, if they have to uh, um, cancel classes, it depends on how few. Um, so I, I can't answer that, Diego. I'm sorry. That's kind of, um, I, I, I don't know because we don't know how we're going to move forward. We're trying to make those decisions soon. So that way we can hold those numbers. So we are really trying to make those decisions, um, coming up very soon so we can know what fall is going to look like. Um, we're anxious about it just as much as you are. We just would really like to. Christina, there was an email sent to you today in regards to the CARES Act. It came from Marco Jakian. Um, and uh, that's where you sign up. There was instructions at the bottom of that email on how to sign up. Uh, it's through your ComNet. So um, let's see. Can you use a savings account number or do you have to use direct deposit? I think you can use any account number. I'm not really sure, Tatiana. Try to sign up that way. Um, but yeah, it's direct deposit through your My ComNet account. So that's how you have to sign up. Any update on when tax prep will be back at Gateway? Unfortunately, I don't have an update on that. Um, the VITA services utilize our space, um, but they don't necessarily um, work for the school. Um, so um, I will try to see if I can get them back. Um, they won't be able to meet with people, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Um, and they may be able to Zoom with people. I'm not sure what the legalities are behind that. So I will get back to you on VITA prep. I'll have it on the next Facebook Live. Um, Mohammed, how long are summer classes? Is that the question? So there's an A, B, and a C session. So some of them are longer, and some of them are eight, um, eight, you know, are six week classes. So it depends. So look when you're looking at the course search, check the start and end date, and you'll know how long those classes are. If someone applied for a FAFSA and didn't receive a grant, yes. Sherry, that is a yes. So if you applied for FAFSA, that's the only thing that um, makes you eligible. You did not have to receive a grant. It's if you applied for FAFSA, okay? So you would be receiving it. Um, okay, so pass fail. Let's go to the pass fail. I've got great information on the pass fail. Okay, so the pass fail works at the end of the semester. So everybody has to wait for their grades to post um before they can apply for pass fail okay the pass uh you can choose to elect the pass fail this is not mandatory and it's also not it's not for every student you know it's not the best idea for every student okay 
Um, it is strongly suggested that you consult with your academic advisor or graduation auditor prior to invoking the pass fail. Also, your faculty and staff are very knowledgeable in this as well. I mean, your faculty members are very knowledgeable. Um, so if your grade is an A, a C, A through C, you will receive a CRT. We don't recommend that. If you're already passing class and it's uh, an A to a C, um, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to us. Um, we would want to talk to you about that. Okay. Um, if you receive a C minus, a D plus, a D or a D minus, you would receive what's called credit. Okay. So those that credit um, would give you credit in that class, and that's the, that's the category that that kind of works for. Okay. Um, so we that that would be when we would recommend it because it doesn't go towards your it won't go towards your GPA, so it won't hurt your GPA, but it will give you credit for the class. Now, please note um, that the CR will transfer to a CCU institution, um, but only if you complete your associate's degree, okay? So you'd have to complete your degree in order for that credit, that CR to transfer, okay? And we have some guidance coming out on this um, for students that's a little bit more readable. Okay, so that way you can really understand if this is the right thing for you. Um, if you receive an F in the course, you're, uh, you can opt to change it to um, not, not credit eligible or a W, okay? So then it would not impact your GPA, okay? So this will not, this will not come out until after the grades post, okay? And the important thing is I need you to talk to your faculty and especially the registrar's office and the um, and uh, the Student Success Center will be very knowledgeable in um, helping you with this. Um, so that's the pass fail policy, okay? And it's not eligible for any select programs. So our nursing program, you can't you can't use pass fail in in nursing. Also, if it's a prereq, so if you're in Math 137 and you need to go to math, you need to go to the next level of math, and you need to have a C or better. Um, if you choose pass fail, you will not be able to move up to you. That's not, so we wouldn't recommend that. Okay, a bunch of questions came in while I was explaining the pass fail. Tim, yes, you will get paper checks for grants. They will take longer, okay? So that's why we're trying to push the direct deposit because it's a really quick button. It's very similar to the federal stimulus checks that went out. Um, some of us got them very quick and then some of them were delayed about two weeks, okay? Um, they will be a set amount per student, so they're not going to vary, Linda, so really great information. Um, I don't know how much that amount is at this point, um, so it's, it's, it's definitely a set amount, okay? Um, there are populations um, that may not be included, um, but again, you had to have applied for the FAFSA, so that, that's pretty much the, the population. Um, yeah, no problem, Tim. We'll send you a check. It's not a problem. That's that. That's never a problem. Um, no worries. Okay. <laughs> when is the pass fail due? So that was the last thing I didn't get to. So the pass fail um, does not actually open until May 21st. Okay, and you can only apply up till June 30th. Okay. The pass fail works really well for anyone who thinks that they may be receiving an F especially for the semester because we can take that and move that to a withdrawal or credit free so that way it doesn't go into your GPA, okay? We understand that this semester has been a little much with all of a sudden having on ground and moving online, okay? Um, so um, let's see. Let's see, the pass or fail option is not really an option. Well, it is an option, Teresa. It just depends on what your major is and it depends on um, where you're transferring to. So there's just a lot in the equation, but it certainly is an option, especially if you're failing the class um, or you're getting below C minus, it's definitely an option that you can take. Um, let's see. Uh, are we still hoping to conduct fall on grounds? Yes, I, we are hoping to have fall on ground classes. Um, it will look different. Um, we will be doing um, some things to help promote social distancing and safety. Um, so um, it'll look a little different, Tim, but we're really hoping that we're gonna be there too. Um, so 
we, we are hoping just as much as you are. <laughs> so um, if you wanted to also in that email on the CARES Act, um, President Ojakian actually put Betsy DeVos's email in there. So if people want to email um, her in regards to the fact that limited to students that only applied for FAFSA, like we would love it to um, put emails into our inboxes. You know, we feel like everyone has been impacted and I support President Ojakian in this. Um, you know, every student has been impacted by this transition. And so if you can help us with that support, it would be great. Um, let's see, there is going to be a new email policy starting on June 2nd. So if your email, your college email has been forwarded to your personal email accounts, we won't be able to do that anymore. When we moved online, we realized that this created some problems for the actual movement online. Um, so we are now only gonna go by the college email. OK, so I've said this every week. All of our information is coming out through the the college email. So I think it's really, really important that you check your college email weekly, biweekly. We have an HC, a GCC Connect. Sorry about that. We have a GCC Connect coming out um, twice a week. And um, I want to make sure that you guys are checking that and getting involved in the activities. Asfa, sorry about that. Hello, what about the graduation this year? Um, we are moving to a virtual graduation, Hafsa. So um, we unfortunately do not think we will be able to gather in groups as large as our graduation. Um, so uh, by the end of the year, we will be inviting grads to the 2021 ceremony um, if they want to be involved in a ceremony. Um, but if anything changes, we will definitely try to do what we can if, if there are any changes, okay? Um, but we have a great way to celebrate you. Um, we're working on that now. That graduation won't happen on May 21st um, because we need time in order to really make it special, um, but we're hoping to announce the date soon, okay? Um, but congratulations. Teresa, how to pick classes for the fall if we don't know if we are online or not. You know, that's gonna be up to you. Um, we are definitely gonna start to um, pull down some of the class um, sizes, so you'll you'll see that. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm losing some questions. Um, we're pulling down some of the classroom sizes, so we're hoping that we're gonna create a successful um, fall start. Um, you could absolutely add drop. So you could start to pick the classes. And then if something happens, you could add drop classes. So that's definitely um, something you could do. And the 2021 ceremony we are hoping will be in person. Yes, Tim, we are hoping that will be in person. Um, so um, that, that will be exciting. Let's see. The destiny, yes, we are mailing the diplomas. Um, we are definitely going to be mailing the diplomas uh, and some other stuff as well. So stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty exciting, okay? Um, let's see. Yeah, Tim, I think that's a good theory, right? So there's gonna be a more robust online, um, but it won't be exclusive, exactly. And some of the class sizes on campus are gonna be a lot smaller. Um, in order to um, allow for some distance and some safety in between people. Um, so there's, I, I think there's a way we can make this work. So Tim, good, good theories, Tim. Um, I can't wait to see you back on campus. Oh, Destiny, you're welcome. We're so proud of all of our graduates. So thanks for, thanks for coming on. Um, let's see. Okay. Did I cover everything? The last thing I wanted to talk about, is there any new students here? Any new students? Um, and even some of our continuing students, the PACT program, the Pledge to Advance Connecticut program is going to happen for the fall. So first time, full time, on time, we're calling it, right? So first time college students attend community college full time and graduate debt free, okay? Yeah, Brooklyn, congrats to all the grads. We're so happy with all our grads. Um, so, um, we, it, the PAC program covers, um, all tuition and fees, 
and um, and you have to be a Connecticut high school graduate, a current Connecticut resident, a first time college student. You have to complete the FAFSA and enroll full time. Um, and you must do this all by July 15th. Those deadlines are gonna stay in place, okay? We are gonna have some WebEx sessions on Wednesday nights and Saturdays, um, specifically for parents, community members, guidance counselors that are looking to see what is packed and our new students, what is packed and what does it mean? Um, so I hope that you look at our Facebook and see if you can um, join us for one of our WebEx sessions. Okay, again, all right, let's see. What is considered new? So Linda, so new students would be a student that has no college experience at all. Um, so um, if you're a high, Connecticut high school graduate with no previous college experience, um, you're, you're eligible and you graduated from Connecticut high school. Okay, so those are, um, yeah, I know, Linda, we wish they included the part-time. Um, there was speculation that they were going to come back together and talk about offering it for part-time, but um, they didn't. Oh, yes, Rhea, new nursing students. If there's any new nursing students, uh, our Student Nurses Association is amazing. So look out for that. Get involved. They're great. Um, yes, Amy, great plan. If you guys applied for graduation, please, please make sure that the address that you put down is correct because that is where we're going to send the diplomas. I know our registrar's office is reaching out again to our grads to ensure that your addresses are correct. Um, you know, we order these diplomas that are coming with the covers. We want to make sure that they get to you. Um, so please make sure that your all of your um, addresses are con correct if you're a graduating student. Um, I know Linda. I went. I understand. I completely understand. I go part time for my grad work as well. Um, let's see. Oh, Tim, the Autism Club is amazing, <laughs> and he's the treasurer. So if we, if any of our students want to join the Autism Club, um, Tim's on here. And uh, yeah, they are amazing. Ron is the advisor and we can get you hooked up with them. So thank you. Um, let's see, Teresa, if classes are not full in the fall, will professors cancel classes? Um, you know, yeah, I mean, we, we look at the class size to ensure that we have full classes, right? So there are there's always some class cancellations. With the limited amounts of students on the class, I think this will be less likely in the fall. Um, so, Nikki, you tried to withdraw. The website isn't working. Um, I think Susan's on here. I bet you she can try to help you. Um, so, um, so, so, if not, go over to GCC Registrar's office um, on the Facebook, and you can live chat with them, Nikki, okay? All right. Oh, Linda, you're welcome. I enjoy doing this. It's nice to see everyone. Hi, Jen. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, Tim, that's so nice. I'm, I'll pass that message on to Ron for you. <laughs> uh, the financial aid status for next fall is not showing yet. Okay, yeah. So we are processing app, FAFSA apps right now. Our financial aid office is processing them. So if it's not showing yet, it's probably because you just haven't been processed yet. So as long as you keep um, you um, filled out your FAFSA form, you should be you should be all set, and you should show um, it should show up sometime soon. If not, you could reach out to the financial aid office. Um, it's gwfineaid at gatewayct.edu. Um, Amy, if you could throw that email address for that student up, that would be great. Um, okay. Yes, Sam is back, Tim. Yes, yes. Everything is good and Sam is back, yes. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to let you all know is that we've welcomed a new counselor to our counseling and wellness office. Her name is Stephanie Perez. So I look forward to you all meeting her soon. Um, and we're excited to offer an additional counselor and just huge props to Lisella, um, as she was the only counselor for the last, uh, 
five weeks and that that's been a lot. So just a uh, great job. Um, you applied for the radiography program in November 19. When will you find out if I got accepted or not? Um, Andrea, I'm not sure about that, but if you send me an email to GW Dean of Students, I can um, ask Mary Beth Banks who's in um, who's doing that. So um, yeah, so just send an email, Andrea, to me so I can ask Mary Beth and get right back to you, okay? I got an email congratulating me for getting assistance, but I didn't see anything online. So when I check, he wasn't up. Oh, Linda, that's weird. Um, wait, Linda, I want you to reach out if you can to our fine aid office that right above you in the comments is GW fine aid help. Um, so if you reach out to that, um, um, let's see if they can assist you on getting some assistance. Okay. Um, yes, yes, Tim, this year, a year ago, Sam and Ron got awarded at Mara Catching. Brenda, thank you. I'm glad that your confidence is there and you're completing your classes. Um, Patricia, if you signed up for scholarships, when will they be awarded? Um, you may know that better than me. Um, I know that they're going through the scholarship applications now. I'm not sure when the awards come out for that, Patricia, but I would imagine um, they come out sometime in June. Um, but I'll wait for Amy to put that in there. Okay, so I just want a couple of reminders really super quick before I signed up. Uh, and the email was standard. Oh, I don't know, Linda. Linda, why don't you just reach out to me, GW Dean of Students, okay? Let's see if I can, what I can do, okay? Um, email me and uh, let me see what, what happened, okay? Because that shouldn't be a standard email. That's, that's like winning the lottery and then not, right? <laughs> um, so don't forget, tomorrow, Thursday, April 30th, at three o'clock is the TED Talk and Tea on student success with Sandy Master Petrie and Christina Kosnoff. And we also have the um, student government meeting next Tuesday, May 5th at one o'clock. So make sure that you guys are on for that. Um, and our Nara, welcome. What about graduation? Are we will be having a virtual graduation. Unfortunately, we just don't think that we will ha have the clearance to have a full graduation um, in this year. Um, so stay tuned for some information on that, um, Nara. We're so excited about your success um, and uh, we want to celebrate you right. It won't be the day that, um, uh, let's see, it won't be the day that uh, May 21st um, because we wanna have a quality product to you. So but stay tuned, we will be rescheduling it and it will be virtual and there will be a way to celebrate you and all of our 2020 grads will be invited to our 2021 graduation. Um, so we are hoping um, that you will join us there too if you'd like that in-person experience. Um, if anything changes and they allow us to have some kind of a ceremony, I definitely, definitely, definitely will try to see if we can, okay? Um, you applied and you haven't heard anything, Nara? Okay, I'm going to have our registrar's office reach out to you and make sure um, that you're all set from your auditors, okay? So, all right. Well, I hope everyone has an amazing rest of the week. This warm weather, I know, is cheering me up. It's making me happy. We're outside. This weekend looks amazing. Of course, it's a couple of days away, so don't blame me if the weather changes. But um, I'm super, super excited um, about a really awesome weekend. And I hope that you're all doing well and reach out to me if you have any questions, okay? And I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be here next Wednesday at two o'clock. Talk to you soon.